What? Sigma's BP is... Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? There's something... white on it. The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. Your arms are... cybernetic. What? S Sigma, what are you saying? <laughs> Looks like you finally gave up. Whatever. I was just about to flip the switch anyway. Hey, don't rush me. Okay, you've got 9 BP now, right? Y yes Well, what do you say? Want to come with? I... I... I will remain here. Why? I cannot abandon Sigma. <laughs> But... I understand. Great! Glad we got that settled. Shall we go? No! Stop! It's been fun! Peace! I promise to call for help and return as soon as I can. Please, do not give up hope. Huh? Hey! What are you doing, you bastard? The door's gonna close! Let go! Let go, goddammit! Let me go! Hey, what the hell is this shit? Why are you doing this? I kept my promise, didn't I? What? Shit! Stop screwing around, asshole! I have to get out of here. I'm not going to let my sacred mission get fucked up by some self-righteous idiot. Sigma! Stop! That's enough! Please, you have to let go! The door's going to shut on you if you don't let go! <laughs> You're an idiot right up until the end, aren't you? Just hurry up and die, you senile old fuck! The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. Sigma! Sigma! Finally awake, huh? I guess they carried you out here after you passed out. Well, I wasn't there to see it. I was out just like you. 
but I was in the AB room. That bastard Kay. He punched me in the stomach. I can't believe him. He didn't want me voting, so... Yes. On the other side of the number nine door. With Dio. You told him to go, remember? Is your arm okay? I heard what happened. Cybernetic arms, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. I was starting to get a feeling something was up with you. I'm right here. Yep, thanks to you. You got the medicine from that jerk Dio, right? Luna gave it to me and now I'm better. Thanks. You're the best, Mr. Sigma. You saved my life. It was completely the opposite of what we guessed. We're not infected. The rest of the world is. That means this place isn't a quarantine facility. It's more like a shelter. Well, we don't know anything for sure yet. I thought the same thing you did, but then Sigma pointed out a couple of discrepancies. Someone anticipated the pandemic. I don't know who. Probably Zero. Anyway, they grabbed us before the pandemic really started. Then they put us in the shelter. But then, after a while, he got bored, so he decided to have us play this game to kill time. Well, we don't actually know if there is poison in this bracelet. You're the only one who's gotten injected so far. And when you did, it was only Soparil. No, that's not what I mean. That can't be it. I'm sure there's tubocurarine in the bracelets. The Adam's analysis confirmed it. But what if the Adam is lying? If you're going to do that, then we don't have anything to base any speculations on. You could say that the newspaper article was fake, or that the Latin journal wasn't real. Or the journal was real, but my translation was a lie. <laughs> No, my translation was accurate. I'm just making the point that once you start talking about this stuff being fabricated, it doesn't stop. I don't think Zero is doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. What? Uh, I was just trying to stress that I don't think Zero would do this to pass the time. However, I do think Clover has half a point. <laughs> that someone did anticipate this pandemic. That part seems reasonable. Well, if the virus was spread on purpose, then I could see how that might make sense. Yeah. It's not like Noah put all the animals on his ark after the flood happened. He went around before the rain started falling to gather them all up, right? Are you saying that we were rescued because we're all that's left of humanity? We were brought here because someone knew there would be a pandemic that would turn us into an endangered species? Does that mean we're supposed to... Repopulate the planet? The game's over. There's no point to any of this now. No, that's not true. The game might be over, but we've still got a lot of unanswered questions. In fact, we've got even more questions. So? Are those answers going to open the number nine door again? It's all over. Why we're stuck here doesn't mean shit. The eight of us aren't leaving. Ever. That's all that matters. You... You're including the old woman? Yeah. You know what? What if the old lady is Zero Senior? But that 
would mean the person in charge of all this was murdered by somebody. Maybe she wasn't murdered. Huh? Are you saying she was infected with Radical Six and killed herself? Maybe she was killed somewhere else and then someone carried her in there. Well, maybe we should go take a look at her one more time. Maybe we missed something. Looks like an ID card for this place. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. Nope. You? Well, actually it says pass equals Jumpy Doll. So I'm guessing Jumpy Doll is a password of some sort. Beats me. Yeah. What's wrong? Alice! Oh no! What are you planning to do with that? <gasps> Damn it! Goodbye! One minute remains un- That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay. A lapsum simel- Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed. Thank you, Ambidex. You chose Ally, right? Are you sure that was okay? You sound pretty sure of yourself. What? Okay, let's go. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will please direct your... Points have please. I see. So you remember it too. The other round two. Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose Betray this time? Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay? Yes.
was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't for- I'll make sure- you choose Betray, Fi? Yeah, you're the only one who didn't vote Ally. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Through the number nine door. You're in my way. Move. When someone betrays your trust, feels like a part of you dies. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Whatever. Just get out of my way. I see. Then you leave me no choice. Try. Plaudite. Acta est fabula. It's Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. That's what it means. See you later. Forget about it. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. I think we're even. Uh, what are you talking about? When did you betray her? Are you talking about round one? <laughs> Just drop it. There's no point. I doubt they'd understand even if you did tell them. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I don't get it. Well, at least it seems Fi has decided to remain. You've really changed your mind? Yeah, I'll stick around a little longer. Like he said, I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. Oh man, that's a relief. Please don't scare us like that again. The Ambidex Gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star the, the As long as you have the star keys, you- You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between- Based off the last two round- Oh, that's- Didn't Zero Jr. say something about that? As soon as the pair- I'm a magenta pair. Me too. That means we'll be a team this time. I think we'll do great. Y yeah. Who's gonna be my partner then? I'm a cyan pair. They do not appear to be here. I, for instance, am a yellow pair. <laughs> The cyan pair, I am a- Fi and her mysterious partner. Sigma, what colors are added together to create cyan? What color would you get by adding your red to that? Exactly. So you're saying the next set of chromatic doors are going to be white? Yes. How do you know? Because I have seen them. After leaving the archive in it, well... Yeah, I saw him too. After
after we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. They had the same little lock thingies. I'm 100%... What do they know about... Yes, if we exclude... As far as missing a cyan and a yellow... If Sigma's a red solo, then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. Well, I'm going back to the infirmary. I'm kinda worried about Alice and Quark. I'll go too. As will I. Huh? What is it? Go on. found another bomb? Where? No, that's not possible. Could you have missed it? No, no way. We checked every part of that room. Hmm. You think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere? I think there's a good chance. Very well, we should split up and find this other bomb. It could be anywhere. But even if we do find it, what are we supposed to do? That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely. All right, I'll head back to the infirmary and let everybody else know. Please. How about we set a time to meet back here, just in case? The time we have left until the chromatic door... One hour and fifty... I think approximately half of that should be enough. That sounds good. Right. I'll tell the others, too. So it's... I've been here the whole time. Oh, I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. I already told you I'm not. Remember? Back in the AB room when we met? Right. Aren't you curious about that graffiti? Why do you say that? You're right. Hmm. Do you know what it means? The Latin part. What about the other part? Hmm. No, nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Huh? Well, I know a little. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. Oh, that that's from... um... this. of my late mother. Well, I guess it's something like a memento. 
She died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents, and apparently it was the only thing my mother had left behind. Don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. I never saw his face, and I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. It got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Collapsum simel occasionum. Non ipsi protest Jupiter reprehendere. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But it seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this. Alone. There's something else we need to do too, though. Exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So... Yeah. Well, come on, don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. I doubt it really matters. If it's here, we'll find it eventually. We can talk while we look. Now get started. I'll start with a conclusion I've come to. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time. No, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. It's more like we move through worlds. Yes. I don't mean physical planets in this case. I'm talking about a whole different universe, really. Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? Hmm. Oh, I... Let's say... I don't care. Scratch your head, cross your... Was that supposed to be moonwalking? Uh, yeah, sure. But you might want to try going backward next time, not forward. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Anyway, you just did the moonwalk, right? But you could have chosen to scratch your head or cross your arms. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all of those things. All of these worlds and realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Every moment you make a decision, another universe branches off. Each of those branches is an alternate world, a world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? What if you hadn't started a study group? What if you hadn't told that girl you liked her? What if? What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? Or are they? Anyway, I... It doesn't have to be human actions, though. I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. The actions of a cat. Can you say for sure that you are? All of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. If we go down a little further, then you could say all of your actions are the result of atoms, or are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision at that level? How different are you from the air? I'd say not much. Human existence is just one part of reality. Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. See what I'm saying? The only thing that really matters, that's where history... Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? Well, keep looking while I talk. How familiar are you with quantum physics? Never mind, don't answer that. I'll try and keep it simple for you. Hmm. Hey, hand me that box, will you? <laughs> Thank you.
Also... Ah, there's a stuffed lion over there. Perfect. He's part of Felide, too. Alright, everything's ready. Remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Anyway, come look at the box. This will only take a minute. Now look. What do you see? From now on, that's a cat. A living cat. This is important. Got it? Oh, man. This again? I find that hard to believe. Ugh, maybe I can... All right, what else do you see? Right, now the weight is going to be radioactive material, and the jar of ink is full of poisonous gas. Idiot. It's not really full of gas. This is just hypothetical. Imagine. So? And the jar. Exact good work. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about the jar. If it's struck by any of the alpha particles the radioactive material emits, it'll break. These particles are emitted randomly, but there's a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. So let's close the lid. And pretend. Here's the question. Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? You can't open the box to check. And you can't hit the box. Obviously, you can't shake it either. It's also been soundproofed, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there and you'd never know. Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. Do you remember what happens if the alpha particles hit the jar? And what if the jar doesn't break? Haha. -ha. And what are the chances of either of those things happening? Uh-huh. So, what's your answer? Is the cat alive or dead? Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? <sighs> nope. You're wrong. That's wrong too. The answer is that it's in a state where it is neither dead nor alive. It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom is spinning upward or downward until we measure it. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously, only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they were emitted or where, we only know the probability that they'll impact the jar. Because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box, that becomes the entire system. In other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? If the cat in the box is possibilities. Right, so let's open the lid. And when we do, all the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Meow. What a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. Anyway, that's Schrodinger's cat. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining that weirdness. Yeah, that's the idea. Looks like that cat tick of yours cleared up. Insane. Exactly. You've experienced it, haven't you? Think back. Remember round two of the AB game? When you chose Betray, what was my vote? But what happened this time? Right. And both times, I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? I see. Well... That makes this a little easier to explain. If you chose Betray, then my vote was Ally. If you chose Ally, then my vote was Betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made yours. Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah. From your perspective, 
There's no other way to interpret it. Look at this die. I found it over there. Let me give you one last example. Alright. Answer this question. What number is the die on? Okay. I'm going to open the lid. Good job. You got it right. Was it? Let's think about what was going on before I opened the lid. What number was the die on? Haven't you been paying attention? I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. Uh-huh. That's one way to look at it, at least. Or, it might have become that number when you declared which one it was. Your choice in the future has an effect on the past. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. We got a little off topic there, but I think I made my point. Reality separates off into an infinite number of branches. You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Of course, our bodies aren't doing the jumping. Our consciousnesses just sort of dive into other versions of ourselves in other worlds. Yeah, that's the best I can figure out, at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Maybe we only remember particularly important things. But whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited. And often, we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. Yeah. If we knew that, I don't think we'd be having so much trouble. It's just... well... I'm pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior's trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cat book in the crew quarters? And what if you've got it backwards? We're outside of the box. And the rest of the world is inside. Yeah, we might be determining the history of the world outside. Are. Did something happen? Yes, we found it! What do you mean, what? What else could we find? The bomb! The other antimatter bomb! The number two bomb is in the control room! Yeah! This is one of them, alright. No. There could be more. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have no way to know. Well, um, not really. But, uh, I wasn't the first person to find it. Who was? Kay and Luna. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. Everyone, Tenmyoji and Dio were there. So were Alice and Clark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to go look for you two. They're the same. Still sleeping. We checked them out just to be sure, but they seemed fine. Oh, right. I checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want to know what they were? The next set of doors to open are going to be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. Huh? There's only one option? 
Yeah, any other combinations don't make white. We'll just have to carry them. The secondary doors won't open without three bracelets. And if we can't open them... Exactly. Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. Yeah, well, I can get Luna to help me. True, I'm sure she'd be happy to help. He's on Kay's team. There shouldn't be any issues there. Maybe, but we can't just leave them here forever. I mean, if they go off, then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers is gonna get fried. <laughs> It could be. What if these bombs are just, like, the detonator? The reactor. Yeah, there are supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them, then there's a lot of anti-hydrogen. Three and a half kilograms. If there really is that much, and if it does explode, then we would be looking at an explosion roughly 10,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Wait, Clover, how did you know that? Know what? That stuff about antimatter reactors. Um, well, that's, uh, during my training, they, uh, uh... Did you hear about that from Alice? Oh, well, um, she's right then. That's, uh, what we call the coffee machines. I'm telling you the truth. I work at a cafe. It just might, um, be a kind of fake job to divert attention. Then what's your real job? I'm sorry. I really can't tell you anything else. Why not? It's classified. The government? The government? Ah, oh no! Check your bracelets! How much time do we have left? How long until the doors open? Come on, quickly! I'm heading back then. Remember, we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. You guys hurry back, okay? Bye! Hold on. I need to check something really quick. There you are. You're late. What were you doing? Nothing. Clover told us. You've seen the bomb in the control room. So what the hell should we do? That makes three bombs. Well, we have to do something. They're bombs, for God's sake. There's a quick and simple solution. Really? Remember what Alice said? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Not a problem. We've resolved that issue. Huh? Show them. That was in the safe in the control room. <laughs> Turned out I was right. It fit perfectly. Still, I'm sure this is the thing Alice was talking about. We just didn't have the right password. But why was it in the control room? Do you think Zero Senior put it here for us? 
That would suggest it was also Zero Senior who set up the bombs. Doesn't that seem odd, though? Zero Senior wants us to play the Nonary game, right? 